All right, I just started recording. Joe, how you been, man? <laughs> you know, just traded some snap up. earnings today. Oh, man, yeah, I'm waiting for Tesla after hours, man. I'm curious to see what that shit's going to do. <laughs> Although I think I already know. <laughs> Tank and then rip everybody's faces off. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, guys, or just go straight to the moon. Every not single. Even. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, dude, I, I I put my full faith on Elon, not Tesla. So whatever Elon's backing, dude, I'll, I'll be a part of it. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So, guys, every single we have a special announcement this week, and I want to get into it if if the man is ready. But um, me and Joe, ready whenever no, you are, sir. Oh man, I'm ready. Joe and I, every single week, guys, do a Q&A for you guys where we literally for about an hour, we're going to answer all your questions. But this week, we actually have kind of like a special guest. So, um, brother, if you, you know who you are, if you're ready, give me a thumbs up or and we will bring you on. But uh, we have someone to introduce today, man. We got someone. Let's see if he's here. Let's see. Here, I'll actually. He's here twice. But, he was uh, here. Ah, there he is. Okay, let me cloud you. I don't know which, here. but I don't know which login. Claudio, got logging him. into. Yeah, but there's two of them. Let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, Joe, maybe you can bring him on. Claudio, this is going to be some random person. <laughs> For real? Not going to answer. Be like, hello. <laughs> Wait, yes. Is it Claudio or is it Cloud? Cloud, which one are you, bro? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's there's two of these. Clyde. Me? Wait, 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 oh wait. God! Have Which mercy. one are you, bro? Are you? Hold this on. is worse than Woody. <laughs> this is worse than Woody, trying to figure out how to work tech. <laughs> two logins here. <laughs> hold on, oh hold my God! Um, He's got to be the clown one. He has to be. <laughs> But it's obviously not because yeah yeah, this... yeah no it's this one it's Klaus Soriano all right yeah that's cool yeah all right let me disable that other one yeah <laughs> bring on this Claudio guy he's like wait who the hell <laughs> I know he's like I can talk mute yourself hello there it is wow what's up buddy how are you guys dude what's we up, are... man. We are very, very excited to have you on, man. And for those who don't know, guys, let me just let me just preface this real quick. Clow is a member who has not only been fucking killing it in his own trading, man. He has shown us how important it is to give back to the community and help back. Dude, officially today, uh, he's now a new moderator. So we want to introduce him. We want him to talk about his story, everything, man. Dude, Clow, hit us with everything, brother. What do you want to know about me? So now <laughs> well, there's now there's gonna be uh, so uh, uh, two weeks ago I talked to um, to Bawa and Alex because they there have been a couple of people that only speak that speak Spanish as a first language and English as the second language and yep. they wanted to be in in the group because I have like, like a tag group where all the people in the tag group there were four only but. We speak only Spanish, and 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 he told they told me what about getting the international channel for you? So now we're gonna be able to have members that their first language in Spanish, and we speak Spanish. So that's the that's that's gonna be the channel is gonna be about uh, learning um, about uh, the first language exactly. Dude, MIC um, is diversified, man. We want you guys to be able to speak all your native tongues. We want you to have exactly. contact, man. Exactly. So. Basically, I started tra trading uh, back in 2007. Um, the, my mistake was that I, I didn't have no one to, to trade with. So I, I did pretty good by myself until I didn't. Then my worst half of me took over and I started taking unnecessary risks. And basically, I was off trading. So basically, um, uh, I came back to trading last year. I came to MIC January and February while working a full-time job. I talked to, to you, Tosh, on February. I left because I, yeah. I told you that I couldn't. Sad. It was too much for me. I the remember. Time yeah. and, and exactly. And, uh, and trading uh, with you guys. So I told him I'll be back because what I wanted to see was if this was mm -hmm. really a community. Because community to me is a really... Uh, profound word. So in those two months, I figured out that here there's no competition. The competition that you have is with you 
<laughs> with yourself. Uh, yes. Exactly. Period. There's no competition. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I am grateful that Alex made money. I am grateful that Bao, everyone, that everyone makes money. But I'm not comparing my PNL to his PNL. I'm basically seeing how can I improve my technique in order to be where they are at right now. And that's what I love about this community. You have so many people so from all over the world that you can learn from. And it's not only about trading, it's, it's about everything. Like we are human beings and we have a passion for trading and that, that's what uh, makes us together. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty looking forward until this COVID ends so I can start traveling. And I, go, I'm, I can say, hey, um, I'm going to Australia. For example, I'm Pema, I think Pema is from Australia or he's living actually in Australia, he tells me, hey, yeah, I'm here, we can, we can meet up. And, and basically all over the United States, my wife is gonna be really uh, happy about it because she loves traveling. So now I have a, an excuse to travel and meet other people from, LA, from all over the place. So Clout, when you were having trouble in your trading brother before MIC, what, what was the turning point? What was it in MIC that did it for you, brother? Because you're killing it now. You're killing it and you're doing so it, well. Now you're helping other members, man. What was it for you? It's, it's like, I, 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 am, I consider myself a pretty good long swing trader, but I want to nail down the intraday. So now I'm intraday trading too. So I'm, now I'm being accountable for intraday trading. And, and being able to talk, it doesn't, I can wake up at 5 a.m. and there's gonna be a member here that I, I will be able to talk to about trading. Before yeah, I didn't have that, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's the, the after our channel, there are people that, I, because, remember that we are based, most of us are in the United States, but there are people in Australia, in Singapore, in England, where our 4 a.m. is their 2, 3 p.m. So there are always people talking there. So that's always I, people. I, what talking, <laughs> talking? Talk, oh, talking! I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. Was, you, you. I heard it, something else. Go yeah, ahead, yeah, carry on. Right. Joe's <laughs> mind always hears something else, man. <laughs> yeah, always. And then he says that what she said. Joe, dude, yeah, Joe yeah, wants to hear something else. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you know that you have some privileges as as, as a lifetime member. So to me, I'm I'm a life coach. So out of everything else that I'm I do. Once I became a lifetime member, I saw that I could talk to Joe once every month. And since the beginning, I just put the meeting and I, I meet every month with him. And we have a one hour to two hour conversation. And he coached me because the, the person that thinks he's a coach that doesn't have coaches, you're, you're done. You're, you're not good. Right. You're, you're not going to be able to evolve from where you are right now. So well, I appreciate and it's humility, you know, it, it look, Bao taught us all one thing, right? He, dude, because he learned this 15 years ago, man. He taught Alex five years ago. He taught me three years ago. He's teaching you guys daily through live commentary is, dude, it's not a weakness seeking help. No, and it's not a weakness definitely. trading with other members. It's like, I'm sure that Cloud would tell you that at one point in his trading, he's probably had times where he wanted to put his head in his hands and give up. And now look at him, dude, he's absolutely dominating what he's good at, man. And he's learning every day. He's giving back to members. And Cloud, would you say that like MIC was a real turning point for your trading? Brother? Yeah, that, def definitely. It doesn't matter where you stand right now. So I do compare to other communities and, and it, this is, this is something else, you know, it's like the, the level of commitment that the moderator have with the community. It's, it's amazing. You know, I, I love it, you know, and, and to me it's an honor and a privilege to be here. And now that I'm going to be able to help you guys. So I'm, I'm open to talking with anyone that need helps and I'm looking forward to it. Dude, it's, it's, it's our honor, man. Seriously. It's people mm -hmm. like you, Clout, honestly, man, that is, it, you are the reason, dude, why Bow Alex and myself created MIC over two years ago, dude. It, yeah. You're, you're literally one of the poster boys, dude. This is the reason that we wanted to help people. The whole point of MIC mm -hmm. was to take our knowledge and specifically Bow's, man, specifically Bow's wealth of knowledge pass it down on the things that have worked for us so they can then pass the domino effect down to the next, down to the next, down to the next. We brought Eamon on as a moderator recently, and now, you know, a, a, a couple others, man, and now Klaus, our newest one, and because he, he's available for the members, man, he wants to share everything that is making him money and changing his life day by day. And, dude, we just apply. We're happy to have you, man, of course. Thank you.
Seriously. Three months ago, three or four months ago, me and me and Claudio had our first uh, one-on-one, and he asked like how I got, how I became a moderator, and started doing videos and stuff like that. And I was like, "Well, dude, I just started posting the shit that I was putting on YouTube, <laughs> and <laughs> and, uh, and everybody liked it." And he goes. I really want to get into that. And I said, dude, just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, we, we see everything. All of us see everything that happens. And we see the people that help and we see the people that are dickheads. You know who you are. Oh, yeah, and- for sure. <laughs> We're not going to name names, man. We're not going to name names. Oh, I'm just kidding. And, you know, we, we see all that stuff. We, 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 are, we got eyes everywhere, eyes everywhere. We know who wants to help, who genuinely wants to help. And, and those are the people that get the attention that actually uh, get the opportunity to get that platform to help other people. And so, yeah, props to you, man. Proud props of you, to you, man. man. Props Thank to you. you. And, and welcome to- Did you to sell NIO our... yet? <laughs> what? Did you sell NIO yet? No. <laughs> uh, when, when, I sell it, when I sell it, I'll tell you. <laughs> Joe's trying to follow his trades. I'm, I'm waiting for it to go to 50. Yeah, me too. I'll, I'll buy the house and I'll show the picture. I know you, you, to, I, you know that I told you that it's it's about three months in, it, it, so it can turn into a yeah. a long swing. Uh, yep. No, um, how do you say that? Um, long term investment. That long term investment. Not exactly. yeah. December. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll, be, I'll wait. I'll wait for the fifteen percent. Cloud, before we let you go, man, because I know you probably want to get back to normal life, man. Can you just, uh, just for anybody that's not a member right now, do you have any advice for the men? Do you, is there anything that you would say to the non-members? Is someone looking in the MIC? If, if you're looking to, uh, to start trading like you're supposed to, if you're looking for uh, something different, um, if, if you're, I can tell you if you're looking for someone to tell you what, you, what to trade, this is not the community for you. If you're looking for... Uh, to learn a process. If you learn that process and you have a right set, set mind in the process, you'll do great, period. It doesn't matter where you are in life. We are here to teach the process. The process work. And there's a lot of people, a lot of people that the process that is teach here works. Dude, I love that. And hey, guys, welcome to our newest moderator, man. So like I said, guys, if you need any assistance or you want to pick Cloud's mind, dude, he's here for you now, man, officially. And Cloud, we're really lucky to have you, man. We're, we're very proud of what you've become. And dude, blessings for the future, man. Seriously. Oh, shit. Did I lose you guys? <laughs> Can you no, hear me? We're here. Oh, we're you guys here. did? Cloud, you still here? I can't hear Claudio, though. Oh, no. <laughs> what? No. Oh, sorry. there he is. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, here, yeah. man. All right. I lost internet. Oh, well, what I was saying, man, is just as, as a, as a final, is I was just saying, look, man, we're, we're just so lucky to have you. We're so honored. Thank you. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, man. And we're proud of yep. you and blessings for the future, man. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging people that talk Spanish to go into the community because we have a channel that we all, we will only speak Spanish. Yes. We have English, but we will have people that will help you out because it's not only me. I'm, I'm, I want to see more people. Be- oh, shit. Hello. Yep. Yep. Anyway. Your dial up internet, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's Florida. You know, if I live in Texas, that wouldn't happen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it would happen if you're in Cali, though. Shout out, Faye. Yeah. <laughs> So if, anyway. um, if anybody were to come in and ask, you know, in terms of moderators and things like that, what our specialties are, what would you say that your specialty is in trading? How do you long believe swing. that you're going to be able to help people? I long swing trading and I VWAP on steroids. And I'll That's be what I was doing, about to say was you're pretty much the master of VWAP. I'll, I'll Understanding be doing VWAP a, and all I'll, things VWAP. I'll be doing a video soon on, on VWAP. On, cool. on BWAP, but with deviations. Like I look uh, forward to it. You yeah. know me and you love that. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yes, sir. Well done, man. Well, well done. Well, thank you. Cloud, you are the man, buddy. And uh, dude. Todd went to the bathroom. He was like, I'm going to yeah, go pee. I, li- I literally did. I literally here. had... <laughs> I have to get a Kleenex real quick. Um, dude, why do you need man. a Kleenex right now? Are you doing a tubing on the back? Are you doing a zoom? Yeah, because you guys just turned me on so much. Good <laughs> <God>. <laughs>
<laughs> don't turn well, your camera congratulations, on. Congratulations, bro. Let's keep it <laughs> Thank you, man. Professional. And, um, dude. Yeah, let's, let's finish we'll, it here. We'll see yes. you in the club, man. Yeah. Get back Have a great trading. day, guys. Thank Get you. back to your trading, buddy. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys. Let me, uh, let me just mute him just to make sure. Let's get uh, Q&A was- going here, folks. YouTube and uh, here in Slack. So you guys post your questions. That was a lot of fun, man. Dude, so happy to get Clow officially introduced, man. He he is awesome at what he does. And bro, we're trying to reach reach out to even more of our international guys. So if you guys are just one language, man, we we can we can cater to that. <laughs> mm-hmm. So who's got some questions? Because now Joe and I are going to talk shit about think, California. <laughs> yeah. Taxes my, my little and- prediction is is international becomes um, international becomes more than just a Spanish speaking channel. Uh, that's just kind of my envision for for uh, MIC because you have a lot of people that actually speak, you know, several different languages. Uh, Spanish being the main that I've ran into. But um, there's a lot, man. There's a lot of people. (laughs) Like, for example, when uh, my favorite language is redneck. Um, (laughs) Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) No, no. My favorite language is body language. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that, that's the real hey you know what do they say like 90 percent of language isn't even isn't even verbal dude. isn't even oh, verbal dude. yeah if it's the chicken looking your way it's game on baby <laughs> Tay yeah. is already censoring us <laughs> oh god that's hysterical let me think about it you know the favorite my favorite language is body language yeah, it's not sexual it's just you can read people very well if you don't my understand body language, language is uh bwop language <laughs> <laughs> guys who has questions for us who has questions this is your time to shine this is on youtube you guys can do it in the club if you're brand you getting new. good lessons out of these today oh man great lessons on mrin too dude i was t- i was i was talking about it away in the mornings man what a oh. beautiful speaking of speaking of price action language and bwop remember what i was saying joe in the beginning if you caught it dude like here's the thing man if this would have popped up to VWAP, how freaking A plus would that have been to combine with the four line in this top? My favorite thing in trading, guys, my favorite thing, dude, is this. This is like, this is like, I'm going hard. When you can get a four line, which is a whole number, mm-hmm. to combine with a top and to combine with it, obviously, way under VWAP and a pop to this, dude, I would have given anything for a four pop on this day. But- yeah, in that first hour, bro, I mean, that would have been glorious. Alas, this is, I mean, this is exactly what we talk about, guys. This is the easy stuff. Once it loses VWAP and it loses those lows, like this low right here, once it loses that, look, it can't test VWAP. It can't test it. It can't. So, I mean, that means like every push at the open is probably going to be a washout. And unfortunately, there was just no juice. But man, the juice That's came later good. and, and, and the juice came later. And this is the thing about outer lines guys and why they're so powerful. Mm-hmm. Like you could have drawn that. I drew that line for the morning of my ideal entry, but that would have been a nice outer line. But here's the thing. Yep. You know, and I was speaking about this earlier, but I just want to say this one last time, man, especially cause like Tom really liked it. And he's our like risk management guy is I'll just say it again. <laughs> one last time, dude, look at this. You have to sometimes put things in a visual form if you guys are hitting down here on basically not really a good entry, right? And you're looking to scale a ton, like for the guys that give way too much range, right? So say you're hitting mm-hmm. down here and you're willing to scale like up to here for a loss, but this is the only meat you can make. Do you realize guys on a visual sense that this is a one to four, maybe one to five, you're willing to risk all of that to make that it doesn't make sense right so for the guys they hit down here and then hold all day because they want red or they want 150 or they want an offering blah blah etc etc dude there's this much potential to squeeze you and look what it did it did squeeze those guys that got in right here and held all day Mm -hmm. so that's the thing about r and r is you know sometimes you can put it in a visual sense and it can really help you starting one of the best lessons we do during these free webinars <laughs> i know bro dude i'm like how many every time <laughs> like, we gotta stop giving such good info man. <laughs> oh, i mean good. i don't know how people aren't just like experts on on vwap price relation i don't know how people can't 
like right now on our webinar. I don't know how. I, let me let me just preface this. I do know how people get trapped like this. Uh, is because they uh, are stubborn and they have no discipline. So yeah, but <clears throat> if you're disciplined, you're not stubborn then there, there's no way that you can't be paying attention to the relationship from price to VWAP during pre-market. Like we talk about this every week. What were the rest of the runners today? What were the other ones? One sec, bro. Watch this. Watch this. I knew Alex was going to come in with that too. Oh, dude, oh, that's what I was pointing line. out. Let's yeah, that's line. what I was pointing out right there. I mean, Tosh was hanging around looking for the four line. I was like, bro, I wouldn't even be around by I that would, time. I'm oh, gone. dude, I would not be around. I'm, I'm just gone. saying, but I'm just saying that's how important lines are. But still, man, once 1030 hits, I'm fucking, I'm done, bro. I'm done. Joe, look Absolutely. what we had today, man. We had MRIN, what we just talked about. Look at this. Look at this. We had ASTC today. So let's talk about ASTC real quick. The exact opposite, bro. Every single week of what we talk about. What did it do? Open on VWAP, use outer line, six line, baby. Yeah, and I mean, look, this is just this is just one of those things that we talk about every single time. Is why did Tosh choose an outer line? Why did he choose the outer line? It was because Tosh has just kind of internalized this already. But it, once it loses VWAP, what does it do? It breaks VWAP. It breaks VWAP. It breaks VWAP. So what the fuck do you think it's going to do with the open? Break VWAP. I mean, it's. It, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how much better of an explanation was that? Do that one more time. Do that one more time. <laughs> That's the best way Joe has ever taught in two years. Dude, it's like, it, it's so simple. It's so simple. You look at the relationship of price to VWAP during pre-market. Dude, it, it works for Joe, big draw caps that again. too. Draw that little like pigtail again, that little loop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> draw that again, dude. <laughs> Uh, guys 80 percent of success uh, is in the basics man if it does this during pre-market what do you think it's gonna fucking do dude it's probably yeah. really the potential to whipsaw in the open yeah you don't be don't be down here choosing this fucking line like the five line <laughs> yeah, don't be down here at five like it, you know it's gonna break vwap guys, because it's done it three fucking times and already and here's what happens guys here's what happens you get in at five, you're stopping out where we're getting in if we had locates. I didn't have locates for this today at all. And here's another trick. Here's another trick. This is something I love. And I don't know if I've actually ever talked about this, but every now and then I'll remember something that we can teach on these webinars. When you guys have a stock that push fails, push fails, right? Let's keep doing it. Push massive fails, push fails. Dude, just wait for the push and then if you wait for outer line to scale outer lines, if history repeats, like I said, like Joe just drove, if it whipsaws up and whipsaws up, it's probably going to come down, but you got to wait for the push fail. You got to wait I for mean, the push I mean, it's like, like if you're long in these dips though, what, what goes to your mind? Like, okay, first time, all right, you know, shame on, shame on you. It didn't work. Second time, shame on me. You know, like it, that was my mistake. Third time, okay, third time, this has got to work. Fourth time, okay, yeah. the bounce has got to work. Fifth time, what do people think in Dude, this situation? Seriously. Let me get long. <laughs> seriously, and but here's the problem. With, and, and, and to reiterate on what Joe said, this is the problem why you guys still lose, even though, hey, dude, I knew it was going to do this. Well, hey, dipshit, you knew it was going to happen, but you still took an L. Why? Because you, it doesn't matter whether you know this is, is going to go down. If you're hitting at five and scaling to six and your stop out is at 605, you just got stopped out even though you knew it was going to happen because your entry was dog shit. Entries yep. are everything. Absolutely. And entries are everything. So if you wait for the outer line, you can scale six to 675 and with almost a guarantee to do what it did before. But because there are no guarantees in trading, then you set a hard stop and then your emotion is eliminated. This is how you trade. This is how you trade. Why was WEI and MRN pumped or manipulated differently than all the others we've been having recently? Caught everyone off guard. Should we adapt to this new trend? I primarily long stocks. Well, you know, here's, uh, here's like, was way pumped. I, I don't. Oh, know. you mean like yesterday? I didn't pay attention to way specifically, but here's what I will tell you: when you see a daily chart like this. 
be a little bit cautious and when a stock doesn't necessarily have a ton of really good news or it's not really up on news at all and you see actually let me go to like yeah a 15 day chart dude this is a 15 day chart when you guys see a stock like this where the last 15 days have been trading like this and then it has a day like this guys you have to be careful I don't want to long and hold these things overnight. I don't even want to long a type of stock like this, dude. This is this is where this stuff happens. T12 halts, you get random news halts, you get T3, things like that, dude. This is a very dangerous stock. So on something like this, um, once this happens, this is just not for new traders, man. Don't short this, don't long it. Just stay away from it, honestly, in my opinion. Joe, what do you think? A lot of people think? that force themselves to long small caps. Like oh, because of lack of borrows? That and I mean, what's the edge there's, there's on no this edge setup? On this spot, Is there one? No. Like what? What's the edge? In, because for one, if you're a long, if you're a long in WEI, this right here has you literally shitting your pants. <laughs> Look at the amount of volume right here and the loss of like you are literally gonna go oh fuck. Like the moment that it happens, that's I mean, that's like six mil candle, dude. From Jeez. four to what? Three? Joe, let me let me zoom in on this bad boy. What is that? Look at this. Look at this. This is the candle Joe was talking about. That's some scary shit, dude. Four a long trader. To, to two sixty. Oh yeah, I'm perfectly fine as a long. I'm in. I'm fine. I got plenty of space. No. You are shitting your trading diaper, literally oh, soiling yourself in that candle. Dude, those trading diapers get expensive once you shit one or two a day. Let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> and <laughs> then when it rebounds, up, man. then when it rebounds off of this, all the shorts are like, and fuck me. <laughs> and so it's just, dude, there's, there's no, I, I, there's no edge in this, in my opinion, there's no edge in this. This is, I mean, this right here, this is, um, this is like bread and butter, a bow setup. Like that channel right there. That's channel, that's what's called a channel. Yeah, bow is all about this right here. Like I can just, I can see the reason for justification of being a seller up here, a buyer down here, you know, a buyer, a seller, but you know, I see all the reasons for that stuff right here. Hell yeah. But I, dude it's just a gamble it's a gamble in my opinion like if you're trying to follow these market manipulators this is getting back to that question like you know we see a lot of manipulation happening in wei and mrin um following manipulators is is this it's a crapshoot because you have no idea what they're going to do you don't know whether they're going to dump it whether they're going to rip it what i you have no clue by no the clue. way guys Joe, let's what talk was the, the what was the what was the news on WEI? Probably even? nothing good or if any at all. Joe, let's talk about this for a second. So, guys, remember we talk about all the time. There are times to trade, correct? In the first hour is a shorts um a shorts edge. The hour the hours after that up until two p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And oops, I forgot a line. Let's so let's add another one. Forgot one. Uh, let's go to twelve. So let's show this. <clears throat> so if you drew this on every single chart, you would see the commonalities. The first hour, you have the edges of short. And then from here, this line from 1030 Eastern to 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, longs have the edge. But a lot of the times within this time, there is what's called channel trading opportunities, in which case Bao is a flipping master on, which I just don't have the wherewithal or the patience or my my comfort zone is just not really in it so me and joe don't really do it but bows on this all day. me and alex just like kind of tackle the immediate morning but bows on these channels all day he'll wait for a certain price level to get tested retested and then he'll start shorting as it goes up or longing as it goes down now after 2 p.m eastern standard time is where the shorts have an edge again so for this hour if you're shorting anywhere in between here and simultaneously of course the biggest red candle of the day happened during the edge of this, well, this time period where shorts have the edge. But here's the thing. The reason why this is such a perfect chart to show every level is the last hour of the day or what some call garbage hour, what others call power hour. Uh, I hate those names. It's just a fucking piece of shit hour in general. But longs have the edge. And look what happened. When you have a stock that is holding these levels in the last hour of the day, do not be short. 
don't ever be short. And when you see it rocketing up la like last 15 minutes an hour, if you are short holding on the next day, you're dummy. You're look, it's okay. Cause you might just be uneducated. I don't want to be mean, but dumb dude, dumb educate yourself. This is mm -hmm. not, you do not want to hold a short that is closing or ripping to highs. The new mark, new high a day in the last hour of the day, you are dumb dude. If you hold this shit. You're just, you're gambling. You're pure gambling, dude, because you can have after hour walk-ups, you can have gap ups the next day. Um, and then, you know, on something like way, you just had a retard of price action. Like this is just ridiculous, but, but dude, what a better, ex what a, what an amazing example to show our time levels of trading and how they correspond to each level. So yeah, like it's... a rudimentary guide for you guys to just start understanding time-based trading and how it's important and time-based style. The only shorts bow takes pretty much for the most part, unless it's an extraordinarily broken chart under view op where he's hitting pops and fails to view op, he's hitting the channels. And he's, yep. and again, as Austin would always say, uh, if it's front side, you need, you need front side covers. So technically this is front side. So what are you doing? This is not backside. So if Bao's channel trading, he's literally hitting the channel, covering washes, hitting, covering washes, hitting, covering washes, boom, done. Out, get your, get your cheese, load it up. Uh, do I just think that people get attracted to small caps through shit like WEI. You know, they're like, oh my God, it went from one to 10 in one day. Holy crap. I could do yeah. all kinds of stuff with that money. <laughs> like, Dude, this Peter, this, Gr Peter Griffin, this, our mod. <laughs> ah, fuck me, man. This yeah, just, well, well, I don't. I'm just a big in terms of statistics, studies, and everything like that. I'm a I'm a fan of trading with the trend of whatever market you're trading, right? So yes, if I'm trading small caps, I'm gonna be a short seller. There's un, there's no doubt about it because I'm not gonna try to pick the one out of ten that work on the long side, and be right that when I could trade nine other setups and make money on seven of them right. where, you know, I've got to swing the bat for that one golden opportunity on the long side. And so, and dude, that's why I'm like, dude, why, why are long bias traders so stuck to inconsistent? Let me repeat that inconsistent long bias traders in small caps, inconsistent long bias traders in small caps. Why not gravitate, to something like large caps and then learn options where the percent gains are going to be vastly greater and larger than, and they're going to be easier to come by than a small cap. So be a long in large caps and a short in small caps. And like there's, you're trading with the trend. And so, I mean, I just think that if you're an inconsistent small cap trader, and you keep pressing on the long side. I keep pushing, I keep pushing. I'm gonna break my way through. Switch to a fucking market that naturally goes up. Like it's, it, it just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Unless you hey, have the skill okay. like Tay hey, does, do unless you have the skill that Tay does, which 99% of us do not, okay? 99% <laughs> do not have the skill that she has. She has the ability to select that one out of 10 that run one out of 10 that work because she has very good intuition, very good intuition. But when you're trying to make the 90% better, you can't teach them something like Tay does. You can't teach 90% of people what Tay does because what she does is very specific to her and it works very well. Ron, tell but you that. can't teach 90% of people that. They're not gonna have a clue. They're not, they're not gonna have the patience that she has. They're not gonna have the faith it, or the discipline or anything it's just so i'm like when people are like i'm a long and small caps but i'm struggling okay then go to a fucking market that works for longs big caps learn options yeah dude we teach that guys like we that's, literally teach that it like today for example i was jacking with harry about this um you because were we were talking about poor little boy <laughs> bro we were talking about uh longing something and and somebody asked a question earlier, do I ever long any small caps? And the answer is no. I just, and the reason being is because I'm just going to focus on trading with the trend or I'm just not going to mess with it. Yeah. Me and Joe are trend players. I mean, look, there's a reason why, you know, I've had the caption, like if you go to edit my profile, there's a Here's reason the why I did years, today. I've said short the pigs by the beast is I actually don't long small caps. I just short them, but I buy big caps and I swing yeah. big caps though. 
so the but look at this size. 83 cents to a dollar 30. I made from 83 cents to a dollar 30. I made 50% on my money in 20 minutes. But if somebody posted a small cap chart of this trade, they would literally be all over that person's nuts. They would like be, they would be like, Oh my God, teach me, teach me how you did that. Oh my God. I got to learn how to do that. <laughs> Post a 50% gain in options in 20 minutes. And everybody's like, fuck it. Nope. Can't figure that out. Too tough. Too tough. Wow, you look Doesn't work. Oh, MRIN. That's a death candle. That's a death candle and a half coming. Let's see if this can close strong. Here's, here's the thing about death candles, guys. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tip because it's kind of live. Shit, hold on. Uh, trying to, my computer's lagging a little bit. Come on, bitch. Well, whatever. Uh, the thing about death candles is here's what you want with death candles. If I can fucking zoom in. There we go. Um, you want it as big as possible through VWAP. It's the close that's very important. It's the close. So far, it's the biggest range red candle on the day. Definitely. It's huge volume coming out of this. But here's what you want. You want this base to close as close down to the base of the wick or even lower as possible. I wouldn't like this if the wick was up to here. I wouldn't mm -hmm. like it. I'm, so I'm teaching you guys this live. When I look for death candles, I want see how this candle is almost entirely um, the full thing of the wick. But here's the thing, man. This thing kept getting bought up. So you got to be careful. But dude, if this were to go down to 348 and close right there and not have a big long wick to the reversal because wicks are panic. So if this, if this wick goes up to VWAP, dude, this could easily just rip faces off and keep going. It needs to lose 380. It needs to lose 380, but it needs to, most importantly, the base of the candle needs to close under 380. That's mm -hmm. going to be a powerful death candle. So you don't want these. If it wicks. doesn't, crap. Yep, yep, this is crap. This is a shit death candle if it closes right here. Shit. This will usually be a sign yeah, of if it closes reversal. over 420s, you longs are so smoked or shorts sorry not shorts, long short, shorts, shorts are so smoked smoke, dude yeah yeah uh, see this is a, not a death candle this is not something i like so this nope. is a really good live lesson for you guys so look at this spitting out all kinds of volume man let's see what it does let's see where it closes this is a, this is very informative and very important on a three minute chart this what if this closes is up it? here when does this, bar this close? is a hole dude when does this bar close in two seconds and bar closes yep. nope see, see nope that's not the close we want so i would nope. not actually be hitting this right now now also look at the time there's a half an hour to the market um close so this is not actually where shorts have an edge regardless but this is not something i would be hitting on a pop guys regardless it's just not i want this to close all the way down but it closed up here that's panic that could reverse and the way it squeezed all day uh, this is a crapshoot, man. MRAN is a total crapshoot. This could totally squeeze back. Yep. So just something for you guys to realize. Again, shorting the last hour of the day is never a good idea regardless. So, of course, I wouldn't do it right now. But it's just something for you guys to note any time of day how closing of wicks happen. Yeah, buddy. TLGT broke one. TLGT. Yeah, broke one, but that doesn't sound like it's got any range, does it? Oh, oh, to the upside. I thought you were saying to the downside. Oh, this turd. Well, th look, here's the thing with this, dude. Just This is no range, so just let this do its thing. Hopefully, this thing can really just get going and get going and get – hopefully, dude, I, I would love for this to go up after hours over two, and then tomorrow we have a play. But right now, it's just it's nothing. Like, it's just, it's just nothing. You know what I mean? And look, when something's this beaten down on the daily chart, dude, I'm, I'm not hitting something with no range and that beaten down. You're, that's a recipe for death. That's a recipe to get squeezed up to three or four. It's super beaten down and it has no range. Where What's the institutional let, ownership of it? Let this go. Let this go. What is institutional ownership of TLGT? Uh, can you take a look? Should we go to Finviz? Or you got it? 43 and a half percent. Yeah, no, thank 43 and a half percent. No, thank, no you. thank you. No, thank you. Joe, tell Healthcare, tell drug manufacturer. Joe, so it's a you. biotech, basically. Joe, tell our new guys uh, why you don't like it at 43% uh, for the new guys who don't understand what that is. Okay, so there's a, there's a lot of lessons in TLGT, actually. Um, if I had to guess, they probably have a delisting notice uh, from the SEC because they're under a dollar. Um, the and <laughs> it, yep, there it is, July 31st, 2020. <laughs> Joe knows the shit. There it is. July 31st, 2020. 
There's go, the Tom. filing. There you go. So this filing states that they are now in violation of that. They have until January 25th, 2021 to regain compliance um, of a dollar. And then I'm pretty sure they probably have a shareholder equity violation. They have market cap violation. They've got all kinds of shit. Um, and so we teach about this too. Uh, Chicago trader teaches about this. It's called the MVPHS rule. <laughs> That's why that TLGT got flagged for this. But what you see is you'll see a stock like TLGT that has uh, institutional ownership of 43 and a half percent. They get smashed with this um, B listing agreement uh, or delisting agreement, delisting notice. And you're going to see a big institutional institutions aren't going to get, you know, delisted. They're not going to let the stock that they own get delisted. And so what they do is they'll hire a firm that will run an algo and, and uh, walk everybody up like this. They'll put out some bullshit news that makes no sense at all. Um, <laughs> and then in two days, it looks like way now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, this company, Highbridge Capital Management, just bought shares, bought 7.5% like what two weeks ago I never that's like pretty suspect seeing, i never like seeing capital in a name i never like shorting yeah anything. dude capital i mean look at this management look at this here you go i mean let me let me uh definitely not put that filing there open that filing up that second one there yeah look at this look at this like dude why on <clears throat> why on uh do this so everybody can see it why on october 9th what did high bridge capital see out of this pile of shit on october 9th <laughs> 550,000 shares or seven and a half percent of the total out share standing they took a position why did they take a position why did they take a position two weeks ago when this company was trading under under 80 cents a share oh we just saw great value in here Maybe their technology and their products the are fantastic Oh yeah, they're fantastic. And the, it, dude, there's nothing here with this company. There's nothing they're like, here with these people. They're like, we saw value with this piece of shit. Yeah. No, you fucking didn't. Like market cap is 3.81 million. Alex could buy that company. Alex can buy this company. They have 252 employees full time. I wonder if they're actually getting a paycheck. Um, oh, let us know if you want to buy this turd, man. <laughs> Yeah, this they're reporting like 55 million in sales, and then they're bleeding 53 million. Like it's like these don't, the numbers are terrible. Obviously, they're a pile of trash. But anyway, this is a relationship between institutional ownership and this and this delisting agreement. Agreement. I keep saying agreement. Notice delisting notice, and so it, it's there. There, the I would never short this. I wouldn't short this because you don't know how far that these companies are going to try to manipulate this up and they could continue to manipulate this, but I'm not going to long it either because it's a pile of steam steaming trash with no news. Yeah. So if somebody comes in and they say, Hey, why is your stock up 50% in one day? Uh, uh, no. It looks good. <laughs> yeah. It's, it sounded it's like, like target or things. something. CEO said the stock was too cheap. Like, yeah, okay. Nobody CEO says that shit. <laughs> it was it was for sale. <laughs> right, yeah. It was it was it's publicly like, traded. Why not? Why'd you buy that sushi with mold all over it? I don't know. I thought it would give it extra flavor. What? It, it combines well with the wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's mold? Numbers. I thought it was wasabi. Fuck. <laughs> They'll just make up stuff. <laughs> you know what? That's what all... Yeah, you just make some shit up. So Here's TLGT. Me no interest in this stock I, I, if it goes to two bucks okay sure yeah, maybe now, now maybe there's something there on our hands yeah but dude this is it a dollar is a magnet level for all these small cap companies that trade under a dollar but that's not to say go out and buy all these fucking things that are under a dollar and then hope that you know they get ground up because the reality is once they get a delisting notice they have a hundred and 80 days 180 days to get the stock above one now if by a you know 170 
they're still not above a dollar, but they've got time coming. They've got something coming in the works or whatever it is. They can file for an extension for another 180 days. So they could stay under a dollar for 365 days before they get delisted legally with the SEC. So there's no reason to be following these types of companies because there's so many games that they can play oh, yeah. before they ever get delisted That's why and they know. hardly ever get delisted they will do everything in their power to stay listed on the public exchanges on you know on the listed exchanges rather than going to the OTCs like OTCs is where you go to die that's like that's like you know that that's like sending a cow out to the farm like the back farm the farm at the very back the field in the very back that's the or grazing Alex's farm backyard. where you go to die it's like sending a cow to Alex's house. Yeah, exactly. It's like sending ca cattle to his doorstep. <laughs> Jesus. You can only imagine what happens, man. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about when we were, when we were talking about manipulators. Um, what is a real account size to start in large caps? You're going to trade options. You don't really need that much money. I'd say yeah, if you're going to trade grand. equities, what would you say, Joe? Probably realistically, probably 20 to 30 grand for equities, right? Would you say? You yeah, you'd it? want to be over PDT if you're going to trade equities. I would I say mean, that. It's, they're just expensive stocks. Yeah, you don't you have just, to, but it's going to be real damn tough. Yeah, so, it's, it's, yeah. you want the buying power, of course, and you're going to need it, literally. I mean, because th guys, think about it, literally, think about yep. it. Zoom is yeah, if you don't. Stocks. Dude, yeah, like if you're international, you could just use you could just use leverage as long as you keep your risk intact. I mean, you yeah. Have a, but I mean, you can have a five thousand dollar account that gives you four to one, and but I mean, as long as you don't ever ever let yourself get out of hand in terms of size. Well, it's like it's like Zoom is one of the hottest stocks in the market right now, right, guys? And look, oh, it's on a big dip. Like investors are probably like you know getting really excited on this big dip. But even still, dude, it's at five hundred and fourteen a share. You know, you have to have some kind of buying power behind you to even yeah. get involved in something like Zoom. Yep. So, you know, it depends on what big caps you're looking at, because then you have something like, uh, what is it, Corsair that just IPO'd and it's at 26, you know what I mean? Or something. Yeah, you know, a lot more manageable to trade something like that. Yeah, or something um, like Snow that's kind of a middle ground at 271 that's totally Snap is a I great, think. Snap is, is inexpensive. And uh, yeah, it's and not. it's, uh, I mean, it, dude, think about this. Think about this. This is what I don't get. All right. Let's just put it in relation here. Let's put it in relation here in terms of a small cap versus a big cap. If a stock like if a stock went from like, let's say one to, to you know, 36, right? For snap, like put snap back up oh, there. Oh, yeah. Hold on one second. Like if a stock went from one to 36 and you're a small cap short seller, stock went from one to 36. Like, I don't care how big your account size was, is you would literally be fighting tooth and nail to find a way to trade this, right? Because it went from one to 36, okay? So it's 36 bucks. Most people can't afford that. Most people can't afford to trade a $36 stock, day trade it, let me, let me say that, the day trade it. But they will literally fight for the borrows to short it. Like they will literally be like, oh my God, if I could just short one of these. Yet you can come play large caps for the same price range, trade the fucking easiest setup in the world, and then boom, you make two fucking points off of it. I mean, it, or or you can trade options for 20 minutes and make 50% on your fucking money. I, like, okay, I just don't get it. I don't get why people are so gravitated to small caps. Well, I get the percent gain. You know I get why? the percent gain, but here's, here's why, it, Joe. Here's I just, why. I don't know. Here's what I'll tell. I'll tell you why people are, and I'm going to expose this fucking industry for a second, dude. Is because the reason why people are so gravitated towards small caps is because they are cheap, and every scammer out there who has a service, even 18 year old kids, are teaching you how to trade them because they don't have the buying power to trade big caps, and or maybe they're just using a paper account if they do. The point yep. is, is every service in the world out there is training you that small caps is the only thing to be traded when only that's the only thing that they can afford unless they're real traders. That's yep. the reason. You have been brainwashed to thinking that small caps are the only thing. Now, don't get me wrong. Guys, we've been trading small. I've been trading small caps for seven years. I love them. 
but I love big caps equally, maybe even more for different reasons, in fact, because of what Joe just said. Dude, you can literally get the moves you get from small caps and big caps, and it's actually a lot of the time simpler because all you have to do is join the trend that is on hand. That's a long trend. Now, this might have some serious downside once this, but like, dude, I'm telling you, big caps, it all boils down to trend. But again, guys, at the end of the day, you do have to have some of the buying power. I mean, if Faye just said it in jokingly, of course, but Faye's not wrong, man. $3,200 a share for Amazon. If you want to trade Amazon, which I actually have some Amazon right now, dude, you need some buying power for Amazon. Yep. And, and not a lot of people cover options. That's the different part. So Joe just said, you can do options with us um, because you, you don't need as, as nearly as much money to trade the options level, but a lot of people don't know how to do options. So then they just go to small caps. See what I'm saying? Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it's, it, so yeah, it, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it's just astonishing to me that, that it's like, I'm, there's so many ways to trade in the market. So many ways. And MIC teaches probably majority of it. Well, you have um, to think, Joe, let's think the majority about majority that works. Joe, let's think about this. Me, Alex and Bao, for the most part, teach small cap short selling. You, Brian, Faye, Vic teach big caps and options. Tay, uh, uh, Edson teach swing trading of small caps and or big caps. And then we have like intricacies between all the other mods in between each niche. Dude, what aren't we covering? Literally. Like, Forex. <laughs> well, I don't think we'll ever cover them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'd rather I'd rather learn how to trade just straight crypto before that. Like just straight. I'd rather crypto. smash my nuts in a vice than God. trade forex. God, for real, man. Oh, yeah, teach anything Faye doesn't teach top anything. Top Faye doesn't teach anything. She just tells us when she sold a position that she longed thirty minutes ago that we never knew about. <laughs> <laughs> Sold some Zoom here. When the f did you go long? Oh, you know, like 30 minutes ago. Shots fired. Were you to tell us if it was a loss? No, nah, probably not. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> Alex's sixth sense did just go off. I'm telling you, he'll be here. Oh, soon. absolutely. He's in his kitchen right now doing something, and, and this webinar is on his computer in the background, and he just heard 4X, and he's like, no. Hmm? Calling all Alex and Forex, calling all Alex and Forex. <laughs> he just dropped his solo cup and is running to the computer. <laughs> oh, shit. Snap was on my watch list, but ended up buying CALX this morning. Mid and large caps are way easier to trade because they're slower moves and more trending. I would 1,000 fucking percent agree with you, Sylvia Chen from YouTube. Absolutely. What is Sylvia CALX Chen do? from YouTube. What is C-A-L-X? C-A-L-X. C-L, what is it? C-A-L-X. Was this another earnings play? Alex. Ooh. Yep, earnings play. Another one. We got I don't Tesla. know. I, I, we got Tesla earnings after hours. Yeah, we got Tesla today. We got Chipotle, CMG. That's right. We do have Chipotle today. Okay. The old Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle trading at 1400 a share. I'm Bro, doing for real. Good. What a fucking burrito right there, right? What a, what a burrito bowl, baby. With extra. I'm telling you. I'm, oh, my God. <laughs> Making 400% profits on large cap can happen once a month. Dude, I did it last month. <laughs> for real. I had such a huge month in big caps last month, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, 400% just compound several options trades. I mean, I made 50% in 20 minutes and every single day there's an opportunity like that. That is, that is like you can manage your risk and it's, there, there's plenty of opportunity, man. There's more opportunity in options, in my opinion, on the long side than there is in small caps. Damn it, Joe. I keep saying this every week and I promise you I'm going to take it up one day, but dude, I'm going to have to learn options with you, man. I'm not, Bro, not myself, Brian got me hooked I'm, I'm like a year ago. Brian is supplying the crack cocaine, man. Bro, he, he was like, Hey man, you want some of this? Just <laughs> you need want, it one time. Some, Just do it once. Knowledge. <laughs> he showed me one time that he, that he bought like he bought a Tesla option at like four bucks and then sold it later that day at 18. I was like, I'm listening. 
I'm listening. What were you saying? I'm listening now. And <laughs> it was uh, whew, old PayPal. Do people have earnings? What is this? Why are they up so? No, they got news with Bitcoin. Oh, I did see that. I did see that. Okay, yeah, they're like dabbling in the Bitcoin. Yeah, the new Kodak. <laughs> oh my God, for real. PayPal's like, yeah, you can, you know, do stuff with things on our app with Bitcoin. And dude, then everybody I, went, I, oh my God. I for, yeah. Dude, I'm not, I'm not even kidding you, Joe. Dude, I'm 30 now. I was using PayPal to sell shit on eBay since I was, what, 14? Bro, for real. And I did like, dude, I have had problems with PayPal for 16 years. And even recently, dude, even recently, bro, someone, I guess like algorithms, because they do that. There's literally people out there or like institutions, whatever you want to call them, that are running numbers all day through through computer systems on random generators right and one yep. of them dude i hadn't used my debit card my paypal debit card for two years they got the number and charged it a random like six hundred dollars to it and i don't keep any money in paypal so i was like oh what wow. the fuck dude so i why am i PayPal. negative 600 like, bucks in paypal dude what, wait say again what <laughs> It's like, why am I negative 600 in PayPal? Oh, I was like, how the fuck is this even possible? Whatever. So maybe I had a thousand dollars. You should have just told him you'll take three shares as a, uh, as a, as an apology. Dude, I was so pissed. <laughs> yeah, I'll take three <laughs> shares. Dude, I was so, I was so pissed, man. And I just never, I, I hate PayPal, man. I've had nothing but trouble with them. But like my whole, like half over half my life. <laughs> Dude, Venmo is so much better. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Venmo is way better. Oh, speaking of which, Zoom. Phase, That's the phase entire at market. Long opportunity right here. It's the entire market. Entire market's pulling back. Spy, cues, all of it. Finally, I think we're must be some news election stuff, man. I think we're finally. Oh, there's a lot of White House talking. Well, White we're, House we're, chief. We're White House closer. chief. We're Continue closer. to stay engaged in talks over the coming days. This is just some fucking stupid news. Says he is very hopeful. Progress is being made on coronavirus relief negation, negotiations. You know what? Well, uh, I'm not even going to fucking get into it, man. You know what I'm also hopeful of later is a bowel movement. I hope I will take a shit later. <laughs> like that's about it just uh, stupid. They can't just get off a microphone and just let things be. We've always got to make dumb comments. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. We're optimistic. We're pessimistic. Yeah, well, of course you're optimistic. We're all optimistic. I'm optimistic that I might be golfing later after this webinar. But oh yeah, else, for real. Yeah. <laughs> I just, it's just astonishing. All right, so add. Can I go through my ad spots on opening range breaks? I normally start when it breaks the range, then add when it pulls back to VWAP with a stop at the next dollar. But always seem to get stopped out, and then add on the flip side. And then on the flip side, when it does start to go correctly after the uh, start, and never get the add on. Example today is Zoom, um, add it on VWAP, then stopped out. So the thing I don't like, I didn't like about Zoom. I thought it was an interesting chart this morning. But let me just kind of give you a little snippet here. If Hold the up. chart looks like this, I'm just going to draw it. Where are we at? There we go. <clears throat> or zoom in. That's fine. Zoom in on this morning action of Zoom. Oops, sorry. You want today, right, Joe? Yep. Yep. Yeah, just the morning. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So you see this, this range that forms right here? This is um, – it's just too – it's too high. And I've talked about this in in webinars and this is the reason why i didn't like zoom for the long side i didn't like it for the short side i was obviously wrong but <clears throat> i didn't like it for the long side because how here we go with this vwap relationship to price again what is vwap doing it's hugging it's hugging it's hugging so if we have a failed breakout and we lose vwap what's wrong everybody that chased it up is fucking underwater and all of a sudden it fails massively so so now let's look at snap so look at snap now this is this is a textbook example of what you want to see in vwap so notice here when price starts running what does vwap do gradual gradual right. gradual it doesn't all of a sudden go and suck up right to the price right here so what this Organic. indicates is that you don't have chasers up here 
okay, you have a big, nice consolidation base to build off of and VWAP not chasing the price indicates that if a pullback comes, people are probably just gonna buy the pullback and push higher because if we dip back to VWAP, it's probably gonna hold because it's a pretty decent dip. If it does dip back to VWAP in this case, like if it broke high of the day and then dip back to VWAP, I wouldn't like it. I like the range break to hold. Like when this breaks, I want it to hold. I want it to test the range and then just continue. Like that's the ideal situation. I don't want a test of VWAP, but let's say for example, like this range is like way down here and then VWAP is kind of like in the middle of it right here and you get the push and then VWAP comes up like this and then you get the pullback to VWAP. That's a different situation because VWAP is now over the range break area. So the test of VWAP is ideal <clears throat> or possible, plausible, and the risk would still remain under this range. Like a break of this range would be your risk point right here. This would be risk down here. So uh, that's about as much detail as I'm going to go into. Go with the webinar. knowledge. <laughs> yeah, nice, Joe. I like it. I'm not just going to sit here and go into all kinds of detail on that setup. I, I know Faye's just like begging us to like trash Cali. I, I, I think she just wants like the next five minutes to be like how much we hate California. <laughs> right. Um, so with Snap, let's kind of walk through this real fast here in terms of, of ads uh, or, or positions. So when the range is really tight in the morning like this, I like to start accumulating small starters around VWAP with the anticipation that it can break like this. But I only do this on, on ER or earnings day. Mind you, he said starters, guys. Yeah, starters. You know, these are, if, there's, if this is um, options, you know, it, it's like two contracts, three contracts, one contract. I mean, I'm just very, so just to put that in terms of like shares, you know, it's 100 shares, 200 shares, 300 shares, one, two, three, stuff like that, small. And then once you get the break, that's when uh, you start to look for the ads. So um, the only times I do this where I take these starters on are on earnings days that are at um, not 52 week highs, sorry. Oh, I drew that wrong. And then all time highs, ATH, all time highs, ER days, um, massive volume pre-market. And I love it when the top of the range that breaks is also breaking um, break pre-market highs as well. So you can see how this kind of just couples with everything. You can see this 3550 level right here. The high of this candle was 3570. So when you get the break at 3550 over 30, I mean, it's just everybody that shorted it that that was retarded because they're like, it's up too much. Fuck you. It's not up too much. It's not up enough at this point. Get long. Let's go. The big caps, baby. Let's go. And so, I, it, dude, it, this is, I mean, this is following fundamental news where the market is agreeing with you. And I mean, it just couldn't, it couldn't get easier. I mean, if trading were ever easy, this is the fucking setup. That's the easiest to guess, sure. And right now in big caps is earnings. That's where everything starts. And guys, that is like the fucking Super Bowl. There's a gapper <laughs> every day, multiple gappers every day. And everybody's just, oh my God, everybody's or got something to trade. Or, uh, you know, something like, uh, what's been, what, what tank? Oh, Netflix. Or yeah. have a Netflix, where yep. they're tankathons. Yeah, and a gap down doesn't mean that the trade is over, like small caps. Like if a trade, in, if something in small caps gaps down, pff, trade's over. Don't even look at it. over. Nobody's touching there. it anymore. It's like, do you remember on Family Guy when um, it was in like the first season or second season? It was like very beginning. Um, <clears throat> but uh, when when they walk into that like old hotel room and there's that hooker on the bed on the floor and she's like, hey, I see you. And then Peter tells Lois, he's like, stop moving. They only see movement. Oh, yeah. And then they stop moving. She's like, hey, where'd you go? And they're standing right there. Dude, that, that in my opinion, is small cap trading. That literally like, if there's nothing moving, if there's nothing moving, like, or it gaps down and there's, you know, the momentum's gone for some, everybody's like, hey, where's the movement? Hey. <laughs> 
it's like i and dude that used to be me man that was me i uh, dude, that was me and that's too, the sole bro. reason why i started making my move to large caps is because i hated those dry spells and then I also hated giving 30% of everything I made back to locates. I was like, the government takes 40 and I'm over here giving 30 back to fucking locates. So I'm over here keeping what? 30%. Yeah, that's if you're profitable. <laughs> fucking right. I was like, no, mm -mm, I'm out. I'm out of this. I'm out. Of I was like, tell me what I can go get a free platform. I can trade extremely low commissions and I can short shit and never need to take a borrow again. Oh, oh my no, God. Tell, tell me more. Tell me more. What is this pyramid scheme you speak of? <laughs> pyramid scheme. Oh, if shit. I sell to one person and they sell to three people and then they sell to five people, I get what? I get yeah. what? It all on skin lotion? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Guys. Have you seen that show on Netflix, Shits Creek? Oh, no, not yet. I want to start it. Bro, though. you will freaking love it. You will love it. Me and my wife are watching it uh, right now, and I swear to you, it. So you like Klaus's humor, right? In in uh, what's the show, um, Umbrella Academy? Oh, dude! Like me and you really like Klaus type of humor. Very funny. Shit's Creek is all that. I, I gotta say, like it, the man. entire show is that type of humor with Klaus. You know how he's always sarcastic, how it's always snippy remarks, <laughs> huh? I think it's Kenny's birthday. Like, the best Dude, line of all time. Like, <laughs> Dude, you will love it. Shit's creepy. Go you watch it. Out, There's like six seasons or something like that. And I I never heard of it. Like I saw the preview and I was like, okay, yeah, it looks kind of funny. But I started watching it. I was like, I freaking love this show. <laughs> I freaking love this show. Dude, it's just it sarcasm, out. sarcasm out the wazoo, man. It's so funny. So it is so out, funny man. guys uh, with any, large caps oh for, sorry i know well i know we're pretty much to the end yeah um if you guys dude i'll just we can wrap it up with this joe let's do let's continue this conversation next week dude this is too fucking good if you guys have any questions about signing up joining upgrading anything we are running some promos right now i will take care of you 213-458-5997 fuck dude i could talk about this for the next two hours but <laughs> let's we say some for next week just me and you just me and you just podcasting it up let's just podcast it up bro one of these days so for anybody interested in large caps i know you guys are asking about it so this is the category for large caps in the video library for members um and that's my eardrums getting busted by the <laughs> bell on thunder swim and then these are all of the videos for the options boot camp. So all those videos will take you straight from knowing nothing about options and uh, get you up to speed on what those are. Just learn the terminologies. You know, you don't go need to, you don't need to go trade that shit. Just learn the terminologies. That way, if you're like, okay, this person's buying this, what are they thinking? What are they doing? Well, that's the reason why they're doing that. Oh, okay. It'll go a lot long. It'll go a lot further. So Watch the large cap videos. Um, and then if you know MIC process, you'll know how to do it on large caps. I mean, that, that's, that's the reality of it. And, and, me, guys, and we got, we got stuff. We got everything you need, man. Seriously. We, you got to give MIC a chance, man. We're going to, we're going to change the game for you. Someone says first time here on the YouTube channel. I must say thank you to both of you for being hilarious with your humor and along with the analysis <laughs> oh well we'll bring the heat next week brother show up again man. Thank, thank you thank you sir lady ma'am sir <laughs> joe you're awesome bro i can't wait for next week we'll continue this exact conversation man because this is too good we have to do like a to be continued on this exact <laughs> stuff guys absolutely um, guys thanks for showing up and uh watch tesla earnings and we'll catch you later and uh, welcome, Clower, new mod, man. So reach out to him. Yep. Later, man. See you, see you guys. See you, Joe.